always being in a hurry, stressed, overworked, we have got so used to it that we aren't even aware of it or just don't have a choice. We live in an inhumane way. We spend more and more time working and running errands, an increasing portion of our time is taken up by such activities. We have less and less time to rest, even though our bodies are in dire need of it, of relaxing and recharging. We should, nevertheless, try to incorporate activities into our hectic lives which support the regeneration processes of our body and soul. I believe that in our culture, we need certain socially accepted places where we don't answer the telephone, we don't have to answer questions or agree with anyone on anything. John C. Lilly, Independent Journal. Introduction to Flotation. Allow us to present a scientifically proven, time-efficient method to unwind and bring regeneration into the daily grind. We present flotation as a means of relaxation inspired by the very beginnings of human life, the perfect state which we last experienced whilst inside the womb. The world is increasingly turning towards novel, natural cures and treatments which have been used traditionally for millions of years, but have been forgotten in modern times due to the global domination of chemical-based treatments. The concept of the float tank, or isolation tank, was devised by American neurophysiologist John C. Lilly, who in 1954 conducted research on the effects of sensory deprivation. He built the first float tank to prove his theories, using it to observe the connection between consciousness and the brain. In his early research, Lilly examined the efficiency of human sleep, trying to discover why humans need seven to eight hours of slumber a day, and the factors influencing the efficiency of rest. During his research, he proved by examining cerebral activity that our brains perceive external stimuli even when asleep. These stimuli make the regeneration process less efficient. For example, a telephone rings. This interrupts our sleep. External audio stimuli are first incorporated into our dreams, subsequently becoming more conscious before finally awakening us. Another interesting observation is that the human sight centre shows perceptible activity even if exposed to minimal light. Despite being asleep, the retina still sends signals to the brain. The research established that an environment which is sealed off from external stimuli yields more efficient rest. The main discovery of John C. Lilly's work, his real breakthrough, was that gravity is the main source of stimulus for our bodies. Whilst asleep, our body is contorted into an unnatural position because of gravity. The bed presses on our body, continuously straining our muscles and joints, releasing millions of stimuli into our brain. One of the main sources of health problems is the Earth's gravitational field and our erect posture. Back conditions, hanging bellies, aching legs and joints and strained muscles all stem from this cause. The primary result of flotation which forms the basis of the entire system, is that the body is spared from the effects of gravity. Gravitation engages 80 to 90% of the central nervous system, even during sleep. John C. Lilly built the first flotation tank to prove this. The beneficial effects of flotation can also be found in nature. The Dead Sea, known for its high salt concentration, allowing flotation on the surface. Our muscles and joints, our support muscles, skeletal muscles and locomotor muscles are relieved of their load and thus relax completely when floating. Guests step into a room equipped with a shower, where the float cabin is also located. Then they enter the shallow float tank, generally filled with 25 to 30 centimetres of salt water. The water is quite thick due to its strong salinity, allowing effortless flotation. 
The state of weightlessness experienced when floating alleviates all physical stress on the spine, the shoulders and the hips. Back muscles also relax, allowing the spinal column to assume its natural position. It has been proven that brain waves are altered after flotation to become similar to those experienced between a woken and a sleeping state. The medical term for this is the theta state. Meditation and Buddhist monks strive to achieve this state. One of the main proven benefits of flotation therapy is that the body reaches this state on its own. This unique state of relaxation results in clearer thoughts, realizations, and improved problem solving. Guests feel they are falling asleep, but are accompanied by rich, colorful inner dreams. The theta state allows extremely deep relaxation, both physically and mentally. Another documented fact is that just one hour of flotation is the equivalent of approximately four to six hours of sleep. Research shows that the pleasant sensations experienced during sessions are the result of the endorphins which are released, causing natural feelings of happiness. Research has also revealed that evolution starts out the same way for each life. Nature creates a floating environment for human fetuses in the womb or in the egg for birds. The central nervous system is immersed in a warm fluid, buffering it from external shocks. Float cabins are generally operated in public facilities such as hotels, hospitals and health centres. It is therefore vital to ensure that the water used in the tank is kept clean in the most efficient manner possible. The comprehensive hygiene and operation that we offer allows our solution to be used by many guests, enabling them to benefit from the beneficial effects from flotation. Other flotation cabins currently on the market filter the water only once using a circulation pump. This hygienic solution is not suitable for filtering the entire body of water, as only the lower level of water is circulated and cleaned, leaving oils from the skin and hair floating on the surface. Not only is this unsightly, but it is also unhygienic. The patented innovation featured in this float spa stores the saline solution used for the sessions in a separate water preparation reservoir from which the salt water is used to fill the float tank directly before each session. After the silent bath is over, the water is pumped back into the reservoir and the empty float cabin is sterilised with a special disinfectant and then dried by staff. The water flowing from the reservoir into the cabin undergoes complex cleaning. This is ensured by the mechanical system. The four paper filters created especially for cleaning salt water are part of this system, ensuring a 100% filtering of all pollutants in the water. The entire water volume flows through the UV germ filter twice when filling up and emptying the tank. The bromium feeder and the ozone generator continuously disinfect the system. While other manufacturers use polyester to construct their cabins allowing bacteria to multiply, the float spa is made of unique thermo-moulded antibacterial sanitary acrylic both outside and inside. This is a vital element for its healing benefits. The preparation reservoir in the solution we have developed is constructed so as to resist pressure and vacuum, allowing the water to be moved using vacuum and pressure effects. If excess pressure occurs in the reservoir, water flows into the tank. Conversely, if a vacuum occurs, it flows into the reservoir. A vacuum pump controlled by the computer performs this operation. The path of the water is directed at the bottom of the reservoir using two check valves. The longevity of the machine is also greatly improved by the fact that rotating and moving parts do not come into contact with salt water. The pool is made of antibacterial acrylic with Teflon insulated heat cables integrated into its walls, ensuring the constant water temperature of 36 degrees Celsius. 
Thanks to this, no pump is required for maintaining water temperature over uninterrupted periods of several hours. When not in use, the entire water volume is stored in an external closed reservoir, so heat does not evaporate, allowing energy savings of approximately 90% compared to other systems. Water level sensors gauge whether the water is in the tank or the stainless steel reservoir, and an electronic system activates heating where required. The entire cabin is controlled by a touch screen system, which is powered by an integrated computer. Custom made software allows the operator to obtain any information from the computer and carry out the surveillance and operation of the entire equipment. The ergonomic design of the cabin serves the interests of guests. The cabin is placed on a pedestal, so the lower plane of the cabin is located 14 centimetres below the top of the pedestal, minimising the effort of entering the cabin for handicapped or elderly guests and making the manoeuvre safer. The lid of the cabin can be opened easily and stays open in any position thanks to gas springs, putting even anxious or claustrophobic guests at ease. Our flotation cabin has underwater RGB light therapy, allowing the creation of various colour atmospheres, making the first few minutes of the session more comforting. Underwater speakers use the water medium itself as a membrane, producing a rich sound. Using the speakers, listening to various audio materials whilst in theta state enables improved learning. The computerised control system allows any external audio material to be played using an MP3 player or iPod via USB. Moreover, the physician or staff in charge of the treatment, or guests themselves even, may customise the float therapy session by adjusting the time, lighting and sound and save personal configurations on the computer. A basic session lasts one hour, with a five minute relaxation period. The light and sound effects gradually fade and then stop altogether followed by the 50-minute therapy session, bathed in total darkness and silence. The final five minutes progressively wake guests with increasing light and gentle sound effects. This relaxation method, popular worldwide, is used by athletes to improve performance, business people under substantial stress, students during examination periods, exhausted mothers-to-be and mothers of young children, or simply those wanting to unwind. Medical science is also increasingly using flotation for the complementary treatment of various illnesses as it provides a solution to circulatory and respiratory problems besides alleviating stress, learning difficulties, depression and sleeplessness. Floating has become popular amongst multinational firms, with flotation rooms being built in office buildings, allowing tired workers to refresh themselves during their lunch break and before important meetings. The anti-inflammatory effect of salt alleviates symptoms stemming from inflammation of the facial cavity and the vocal cords, sinusitis and bronchitis. Flotation is therefore recommended for all those who wish to improve their performance, both physical and mental, beneficial for those who would like to counter the stress of their hectic lives, and those who would like to experience an innovative means of relaxation. Nowadays, we are exposed to a huge amount of stimulation, noise and effects. When floating, we can literally feel our mind grow calm and our body relax. After a long day, there is nothing more serene than floating in a tub of salt water, cutting off the rushing world and being reborn. We particularly recommend our exclusive range. These products stand out for their individual tailor-made interior design features. Clients can design their own flotation tank, even with crystal or mosaic casings.